Take two, take. What's happening, guys? Omar Shah here. Debbie here. Ah, uh, Moya. I should have just said my first name. Omar here. Debbie here. Moya here. All right, so this is our first mukbang for um, Muggin. No, 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 sorry, sorry. So, guys, hi, Omar here. Debbie here. Moya. All right, guys, this is our first mukbang from um, our new channel, Muggin Hawa. All right, the food here is from Bintang Restaurant, a restaurant my father opened up in 1987. 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. 30 31. 32. Oh man, my It's master. over 30 years. Okay. I believe. Oh, it's a long time. All right. But um, over the years, the, the food has evolved and we're, we're putting in more Filipino dishes on the menu with a little twist. So, Chef. Bonjour. Can you uh, explain the dishes, please? So, we've got a few dishes uh, right in front of us here. As we said, we're trying to push out more Filipino food. In the restaurant um, so I'll start from the very back so we have a traditional pancit here pancit canton as we call in the Philippines any party you go in the Philippines any any like get together there'll always be those dishes that's gonna be in the table and what is it they call it long life noodles long right? life noodles that's right, what, so what every the, birthday you have to have every it for birthday good luck, right? you have it for good luck so it's it's a uh, I never like pancit why what yeah. Damn! Uh, I never like pancit. It's always like it's always this pile of dry noodles on the side, on the side, and they're just like okay, it's just a filler, you know. It's just it was just dry, dry. It's, but this this noodle I like. It's the it's the vermicelli. Mm, this is it. This is a, a, all right, cool. Okay, let's, let's try it. I'm on a I'm on a keto diet. <laughs> Yo, um, I'll eat this. I, 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 so I, I would say eat it without the lime first, so you can you can taste the the the, the, the over it, right. and then. After you've tasted it without the lime, and right. put the lime on it, then you can see how important. Can we just start eating. Yeah. 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 Where's your fork? Right. I don't have any bats again. Fork and spoon. You know she's a real Filipino. She can eat noodles with a spoon. Pamba, pamba habat ng buhay. Right. So. What? Did you understand that? No. <laughs> I said um, it will make your life long lasting. Basically. So. Is you can taste it without the lime, and then once you taste it without it, then you put. No way we use calamansi. Traditionally, we use calamansi for this. But then when you put the lime, then that's how you understand how understand how important acid it is in your food. Yo, you know what? Kind of fucked up there. I said, um, Ashwa. What did I say? I don't know, man. I'm just trying to chew it. That's what I'm saying about pancit. It's not. I love pan. I know. You know what? It's a nice dish. Mm. All right. But pancit for me is a bit more. It's a bit dry. Where did pancit come from? It's like Chinese. It's a Chinese influence. Mm. Yeah, Chinese influence, right? Yes. But what noodles is better? Chinese noodles or Filipino noodles? Filipino noodles, right? Filipino. I yeah. think Chinese noodles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Wow! So, I'm sorry, man. I like pancit. Who are you? I know, but listen, I'm just being real. Like, whole fun. How come we don't have whole fun in Philippines? Because we don't know whole fun in the Just Philippines. Like, so, what else? Like, what? Crispy noodles, with like roast duck. And this is nice. But the Chinese could have left us More. Some variety. <laughs> More. You know? Yeah, but you know what? This is still very delicious. So Thank you, Chef. Mm. Like some black bean sauce or something. I got what you said about the citrusy. It's really yeah, nice. so you can complete. There's a big difference once you add the citrus element to the dish. It's nice without it. But once you put it in, then you get that whole burst of flavor. It gives it a kick. It no. cuts through the garlic in this, the soy sauce, and the milk. I can't have no more. That's my key, that's my keto allowance of carbohydrates. I'm sorry. I think that's why I'm not used to noodles anymore. Yeah, same here, bro. Okay, so this one's very good. So pancit canton. That's not the same you would get on the no no no, the no, little, no, no, no. little no. packet of noodles. Like 30 pence each? No. No. I think that's something that's been pretty. Well, that one's quite popular though. A lot of people actually eat that. But this is a comfort dish. This yeah, is a this very comfort dish. Do you crave this dish? Um. Well, I would say there's like 
They would say there's national days in the Philippines. This would be close. It would be either adobo on set. Or do you crave this? I crave adobo. Um, I crave this when I'm having I'm having hangover. Really? Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. This is, this is usually the, the dish you would get as a takeaway when you go to a party. It'll be like tons of exactly. hangover. Exactly. What's what's that dish called? Exactly. Exactly. Mmm, <coughs> <coughs> smells like noodles. <laughs> it tastes so good though. It tastes good, it does taste good. It does so, Ben, when you have a hangover, I guess this is what you would eat, right? Next day. Mm. Do you refry it or just zap it in the microwave? And do you make your own kind of concoction up? Like, do like add some spam or cool beef? Or... You can do it, you can do anything. Yes. Yeah. Alright, you know what? We're talking a lot about noodles. Let's move along. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's move along. You know what? That dish over there. What's that called? This one? What's this this one? Yeah. It's salted duck egg. Alright, she's never had a salted duck the egg before. Time. And she's like the most Filipino person I know. Yes. And like salted and duck egg free. is the most Filipino condiment you could get. It's like, I eat balot. It's like the Filipino parmesan. It gives you that umami salty flavor. Yes. Like if I crumble some of that on there, oh, really? that would add another layer there. That would add another layer. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to try? Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. You have to finish all this food. No, you're gonna crumble it up. Look, look. Crumble it up. Do you eat with your hands or your? Either. So, like, and I saw the Whatever way. Whatever floats my boat, really. But you see how she cut the noodles with a spoon? See? A Filipino there. Yeah, so I'll just grab a little bit. And he taught us this. That, that chef. What's that chef called? The English chef. The old one from back in the days. Oh, man. She looks like. She looks like. Oh. I have no idea. Yeah. Give me, give me English chefs from TV chefs from back in the days. Delia. All right, so Delia, she teaches you how to eat a cool pasta, right? So you grab a little bit like that, you put it in a corner, and then you twist it, and you twist, 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 until you get a little bundle of, of noodles. In this case, put a bit of salted duck egg on top, and then. Mm. Do you want to know how? The best way to eat pancit canton is with rice. Really? I, I, yeah? I object. The best way to eat pancit canton is with pan de sal. Oh! Yes. I rest my case. I just, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's sorry, sorry. That's not a lot. bad. That's a lot. Of yeah, like, like, um, what was I going to say? Pandasal. Yeah, sorry, pandasal. Like a lot of people pan de actually cut it in half. Know. Put no, no, no. That's, what, that's what they do in Have the Philippines. Like, and the salad like, is a milk bun, it's a, it's a bread, it's like a little, it's like a bat, right? Like a brioche bun, mm -hmm. right? So right. what they would do back then, they would do, they would eat this uh, dish for merienda and you will always have a type of bread and that would most likely be panda salad. And then they would just rip that open, stuff it in with noodles and then that would be their merienda. Like, traditional. Did you know in the Philippines they have canton for breakfast? I need to move on to the protein, sorry. Because I've been eating a lot of carbs. Yeah. Have you? Okay, so. Okay. I feel bad already. No. Right. We're finished with the project on time. No, we can come back. Come come back. Let's come back. Alright. Let's move this to the side. Alright. Nah, that's what I'm waiting for. Cool. Sissy. Alright, but it's not your ordinary sissy, guys. This is beef brisket sissy. Beef brisket sissy. Yeah. So we have our own little different touch to our sissy. Mm -hmm. Normally in the Philippines, um, the main part of the pro the main part the main protein that they use is actually pig's head. So every part of the pig's head, you get the ears, you get the cheeks, and then the liver. It's a dish that makes makes do with what they have and then resulting in a, an incredible dish. Sissy mm -hmm. is like the national... It's not Sissy's okay. favorite, you know. So there's a big argument about this. You get adobo as a national dish, you get sinigang as a national dish. For me, personally, <laughs> I think Sissy is the national dish of the Philippines. Yeah. You can argue with me. If you got for those who don't know, they... For... Uh, those who don't eat pork, we don't sell pork in we Bintang. We don't sell pork in Bintang. Hence, we have a variation of sisig, and to emulate 
that that they can play, but we actually brine brisket and flank to make our own beef bacon and that's one of the elements in this dish that makes it so special um, and I think some people have uh, some people <laughs> well, that's half, it's that's half cut in half that's fine yeah, it's just throw it one out right. delivery oh. that's what makes it delicious pan de sal ok, yes. so I how we do it? I'll, cut, I'll turn in half oh, no. I'll turn it Okay. We'll do it later. Okay. We'll do it later. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. We'll, 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 we'll But yeah. Mm. Oh. All right. So this thing is 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 just random mystery chopped meats, usually from a pig's head. Usually from a chicken liver, head. kidneys. Yeah. And then you, it's in a sizzle plate, and you crack an egg in it, and you kind of like mix it all together. So you could do all the mix. So we're gonna. This would be calamansi in the Philippines, but it's lime for now. And we'll just squeeze it all in. Mind your eyes. Close your eyes. Look at that. Yeah, good. That is amazing. Yeah, for me, guys, this is the national dish of the Philippines. You know, we, every with no, with no. Like, this is a good pelutan, right? This is a it very, is. Can you describe what pelutan is? Pelutan. Pelutan is like a side or. Oh, why am I? Why am I explaining everything that is about drinking? Because you're Filipino. This is amazing. Um, yeah. Remember earlier? Nice Hangover over with the noodles. With the noodles. With the noodles. No. no. <sighs> <laughs> um. Okay. So, so this one is we, palutan is a side order basically when you're drinking. So it's it's like a side. So while you're drinking, this you can have this on the side. It's so like here in in UK, they can have peanuts or they can have nacho chips while they're drinking a beer. Us on the other hand, we have seasoning. What's the rice? Is the rice? Mm. All right, it's very strange. I think you guys haven't touched rice yet. Okay, so. Anywhere so in the good. Philippines, you would actually find this, like yes, every restaurant. Apart from absolutely, you get chicken, chicken sisig, yeah, squid sisig, chicken sisig, crocodile sisig. Huh. I tried it. Really? Oh my gosh! Last time I was on the Philippines was seven years ago. And you tried I, it? Oh. Yeah, we went to Palawan. So in Palawan, they actually specialize in uh, crocodile sisig. No way! Yeah, yeah. I went there and no, no one introduced me. Yeah, the crocodile sisig is like it's, it's something completely really different. The, different. The, the texture of the meat is oh. it's a bit tougher. It's like a tough chicken, white meat. But it's quite good, but you can make that into sisig as well. That's it why it tastes like chicken. Sisig is very, very No, it tastes very like crocodile. With any, with any protein you want to use. <laughs> it's a crocodile sisig. Like, you can do oh, a bit of crocodile sisig. Like. Mm -hmm. You can do um, seafood, you can do any meat you want. But this one is, is really good because it's crispy. Um, yeah. And liver. Oh, liver is a very important ingredient. And mayonnaise as well, guys. Mayonnaise, they just squirt that shit out of it and just all over the sisi. Mayonnaise is really good, as you say, but <coughs> it, depend, it depends what part of the Philippines you're from. So, some cities and some uh, provinces. They do their sisig quite differently. Mm. Some with mayonnaise and some without mayonnaise. Yeah. You know what? Cooking with mayonnaise is actually a good idea. You think about what mayonnaise is made out of. It's oil and egg. Mm -hmm. Right? Don't the French do that? The process is good. Oui. Oui, oui, oui. Oui, oui. Mm. Aioli. Mm. Right. Mm. So you see that? Yeah. Alright, you can see how fast we're going through the sisig compared to the pan set earlier. So that's good. It's one of the best sellers, right? These are one of the best sellers. So if I would actually go into a restaurant, these are one of the things I would look for straight away. Oh, but you know why? When when it comes to your table, it's still sizzling. Mm -hmm. That's why it's yeah. called sisig, because it's sizzling. Is that what sisig means? Is it? No, actually, in the Philippines, they call it sizzling sissy. So I'm guessing no. Because <laughs> why would you have two words in one, yeah, in one word in one writing? Well, yeah, they have the same. Philippines are notorious oh, yeah, yeah. for having two words. There's kili kili. <laughs> there's tete, pepe, lolo. It's all. Just repeat the word, and it's a word. Make the sound twice. Yeah. 
Save the rice because we still have two more dishes to go through. Okay. Let's go. It's nearly done. So. Maze chunks. Maze there uh, behind the behind the cameras. I'm gonna eat. Shut up. I'm, eat. <laughs> I'm not used to eating like this, guys. I just finished Ramadan. Been fasting the whole month. Right. I'm on a keto diet, I'm on intermittent fasting, I'm on everything under the sun, and I'm still this size. And now, after this meal, I'm gonna be what I was six months ago for this one meal. Just for you, just for you guys. I'm doing this. Mm. So, what we have here, okay, yeah. Okay, now, what we have here is a different type of adobo. Normally, you get like chicken adobo, you know, we get like pork adobo, but we, in the Binsang restaurant, we have lamb adobo. So what sauce is this? So it's your, it's your traditional adobo sauce. So it's like a it, coconut adobo sauce. Yeah, oh. in, in, with our adobo, we put a little bit of coconut milk in it so it can cut through the flavor. It's good, you know? Mm. And um, I like coconut adobo better than... We had this, there was actually a comment about coconut adobo, how it's actually not adobo. But it's actually it's a it's, it's a double. It's, it's, it's like it says like it says it's it's what part of the Philippines you're from will make it differently. It will, it will make it differently. Different strokes for different folks. Remember that, guys. All right. As long as it tastes good, pay respect to. So this is another yeah. contender for the national dish of the Philippines. But so far, the sushi is still winning for me. But right, we finished it, didn't we? This is very good rice, though. It's very good. Mm. Always have it with rice, guys. Oh, let's try this. Really. Mmm. Wow. So good. This is a new dish. Anyone want to help? No? No. Alright. Alright, we'll finish it. I'm trying to pull now. I think someone just died upstairs. Okay, so we've been told that we're talking too much and mukbang is all about eating, right? All right, so fuck it. Listen, I talk a lot when I'm eating anyway. So this is, anyway, listen, fuck it, I'll eat. Where were we? <laughs> what is that? Where were we, guys? All right, uh, bone marrow, one of my oh, favorite things yeah. ever. Oh, yeah, my right. mom loves, loves that too. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> no in your mouth. Hello, Debbie. <laughs> Mm. You polish this off, make jewelry. <laughs> Actually, it might fit on my my. Your finger, Debbie. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even say that one. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, yeah. Which one? That one. No, that I don't one. Have your pinky. Oh you know? my gosh. Um, you could hey, try the bone marrow. <laughs> Stuck out of finger. <laughs> I would have to drink water in mukbang. We are. Oh. What if you're eating spicy food? Milk. No. Mm. Really? Alright, anyway. Okay. Then the other one, gonna see say duck egg. Look at the duck egg, guys. Just wanna point this out. It's purple. Why is that, Debbie? I have no idea. It's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> why are you asking me? Why, why actually? Why? Why is why are salted <laughs> duck eggs coloured purple? Comment below, cause I really don't know. Is it because it's Easter? Kidding. <laughs> 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 right, anyway, let's eat. Comment below, cause um, I don't know. Maybe it's just a different shape, you know. Just you open the fridge, you wanna grab an egg, make breakfast, and then many people throughout the times have have just cracked open and salted duck egg. But. I've been told I'm not eating enough, so I'm gonna start eating some more. Alright, so I've got the pan de sal, so I'm gonna give you guys a pan de sal filled with pan set. Do you wanna try it? What are you doing? Okay. So, guys, pan de sal is a Filipino brioche. You know where we use pan de sal? You know where we use pan de sal? You know why we, we, make, we made this pan de sal? You know why we made this pan de sal? Debbie? 
Yeah, because we sell the log in Mama Sans. Mama Sans, yo. This is a Mama Sans shout out. Alright. Panda sounds really good. Mm. All the bakers out there. Whoop, whoop. I don't like this. <laughs> what? That's not my thing, man. I just like bread and bread. Yeah. There's, there's, there's no meat in here. That's just some necessity shit there. You just. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They run out of burger patties and then they put noodles inside. What's that about? <laughs> Not me. Oh, yes. Eat it, bro. Eat it, bro. No. You know me. what? No. There's right. proper jumping oh. everywhere. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna dip it in there. What? Oh, Alright. There you go. This is how you eat it. It's like one of these uh, no, gravy, gravy burgers. Like a French sandwich. A French dip sandwich. <coughs> okay, so uh, back then. Ooh. They didn't have any uh, utensils, so they done this. Mm. You know, you do that. Uh, you do that right there, there, there and then. Um, pana, pana, we do that mm. right there. Oh man. <coughs> what do you call? Pana, 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 I'll do cheeseburgers. I'll eat bread with a cheeseburger. No, no. Why? I'm having a lot of carbs. I'm just done. I'm just done. There's way too much carbs. Alright. Mm. Last one. I want some more bone marrow. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, bro. I'm sorry. Last yeah, one. On we have. I'm finished with that. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> we have. Milkfish. This is a national fish of the Philippines, right? If I'm not yes, it is. It's not bad. It is. Ow! Oh, it's bamos! It's bamos, it's milkfish. Bamos milk. <laughs> what? Bamos is milkfish. Yeah, so it's, it's a national fish of the Philippines, right? Yeah. Do you know how milkfish is made, Debbie? <laughs> it's not it's not so <laughs> Right. Not soaked with milk, it's just milkfish. It's just how it's made. I didn't say it was soaked with milk. <laughs> yeah, but you're implying that how I make milkfish, I mean... Oh, no, that's... <laughs> no, because you, you would you'd know, so how is it made? What? How is milkfish made? It doesn't make it. How is... That's how God made it. Oh. So how is bangos made? It's made with milkfish. I lost him with the S instead. Okay. <laughs> Milkfish. Can you tell him, Chef? This is made by God. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna tell him. Milkfish is a mar. Is so a mar it's marinated spices, so uh, Philippines is a big influence when we're Vinegar and spices. Vinegar and spices, yes. It's a way of preservation but also adding flavor to your dish. Okay, so ooh, we got a good bit there. Fine. Okay, so what we have here is some palm. It's integrated with it. Green papaya salad. Oh, 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 oh. sauce, sauce, sauce. Oh my god. So what's the sauce for Moya? Woo! It's like a salty, sweet. It's a nice numbrick. Nampre, it's like a. Yeah, it's plain Nampre. This is this is Filipino version of fish and chips, but instead of chips, you have noodles. Oh lord. Oh, it's spicy. But it's so good. Let's get some rice in there. You know, chow down with the rice. Oh, oh look at that. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Oh my god. Sorry. So that was good. No, why not? Eh? You're throwing the dog in there as well, bro. There you go. Mm. I'm done, man. I don't know how to do this. Wait. Quick, quick. I'm trying to grab some. I don't know. Really not take a drink? I'm really thirsty. Only Philippines use fork. Uh, sorry, use spoons 
as a knife. Fork. Use for fork as a knife. Spoons, guys. My neck is tingling. <sighs> My tongue is tingling. Alright, delicious. Oh, shoot me. It's so good. It is delicious. That's what you felt cold. It is very, right? very, very, very delicious. Mm. Oh, no. No, no. I'm telling you, but we managed to devour them. I mean. put it all together. Look, this is, this is the Filipino way, guys. You just put it all in one, you mix it up, you do like a halo halo. Hello, hello, that shit. All right, that rice just soaks up all that sauce, and then you just eat it up. Come on, just eat it up. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put some lime. Any more lime? Oh my god. Too much flavor, I know. Mmm. This is when you feel very bad. Flavor in your ear. Where's the water? I can't, I can't. I can't even there. Are you not that bull? Just drink it now. No, no, because I ate like a good bit of chilies. Come on guys, put this closer. What time is it? Alright. Even this? Yeah. What? Uh -huh. It's Debbie. Come. What the? What the Pano? 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 Yeah. Debbie, do you want to have no, a panda sauce? No, 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 here's the strategy, look. That's done. Me. You finish that. You finish that, Debbie. I got this. Yeah, the best part, yeah? Digo, I am boy. Get it in two bites. Two bites? I wasn't informed that we have to finish all of this. What else? Tell me what I eat. I'll eat it. I was just I, I was me. I was told that I just have to cook. It's just because you have a booty sister, I think. Yeah, <laughs> <sighs> Alright, finish that now. Guys, I had my last piece. <laughs> that be that shows? Mm. Not much. No, I'm going to finish. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yo, bro. I'm going to bro. Alright, let's do this. No! Don't put that in me. Come on. Look, look, look. Finish that. You can do it. Listen, team effort. No, she's a Debbie. Teamwork, come no, on. No, she's a Debbie. Come on, teamwork. Come, come on, you can't on. disappoint everyone. Come on. You can't leave that last bit, Debbie. Mm. Come on. You can do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'd rather eat the, the, the chilies and nothing else. Come on, we're almost there, we're almost there. Look, we're almost uh -huh. there. This one's mine and the rest is yours. Alright, that's mine. The rest is yours. So. What? Yo, you just gave me the... Come on. 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 Come on.
Come on, Mike. Oh, no, there's too much chili in bro. Thank you very much, guys, for, uh, no? That was not. That's finished. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna be sick. Yo, even the chilies, all of it. Even those little carrots. Pizza la day. Yes, yes. No, did they? Mm -hmm. I gotta go to the gym again after this. I have to. Alright, come on, you can Fuck do this. Up my whole life. My you can do life. this. I got Jane's birthday. I bought a suit. I got to take right. a little bit tighter. Hold on. I'm going to Philippines <laughs> in a few days. I right, hurry up. All right, I'm eating all of these food when I go home. You guys are going to hurry up. I eat so much Filipino food, so. Baby? Well, I'm from Philippines. All right, come on, guys. Come on. Let's just split it to three. Split it to three. Look. No. Oh, shit. Right. Let's go. Let's do this. Go, boys. Finish. It's done, man. What do you mean? Lick the plate? No, done. Done. Service. Thank you. Thank you for watching. So, what's your favorite dish for you? Mine is definitely the sisig because it's just pure beef, fat, and organ meat like liver. Oh shit. Perfect for keto, and it's very filling, very satisfying. I could just have that alone while I'm watching Gomorrah. I like Sissy. Nice Sissy. Nice Sissy as well. I like, I like. Yeah, I like Sissy. Yeah, Sissy is ultimate number one, but I also like the most. Pansit, <coughs> pansit, I'll eat, but. Pansit, I'll eat. But at breakfast, not at breakfast, at a party. At a party. It's party food. It's like pizza. Noodles. But I love pizza. I don't like pizza. I love pizza. Alright guys, thank I you very much. Thanks for watching. Us. If you liked it, please press like. Please please subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notifications, that little bell up here. Ding a ding ding ding. We'll be doing more. I'll be making more food for you guys. Alright. And tell us what you want to see, tell us what you like to see. I shall not be eating next time. Oh. I've got meat sweats. I haven't even eaten that much meat. I feel drunk on noodles. I feel. I'm mugging Howard. Bye! Bye. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Actually. Wait, how do you feel? I'm mugging Howard today. I'm so. I feel oh, full. I am done. I'm, I'm gonna take my button off. Bless you. Ah. I'm buying your trousers, guys. Done. Mugging Howard means Bye, relief. guys. See you. Bye. Oh. Translated, my life is now blessed.